Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss one of the types of wave energy conversion systems. So we have in this lesson the oyster. Oyster, which you the one which you see here, this one is an oyster. Okay, this one is also an oyster. Okay, now what you will see is that it is formed of rigid flab. You will see this one, this part this rigid flip this rigid flip goes back and forth it moves back and forth due to the effect of the waves okay due to the waves it moves back and forth at the same time you will find here two pistons two hydraulic pistons you'll see this piston this one and this one due to the motion of this uh, rigid flip back and forth you'll find that the piston here it produces compressed fresh water this water will be compressed and goes through a pipeline to hydraulic uh, or hydroelectric power conversion plant or hydroelectric power station okay which conversion which converts this uh, pressurized water into electrical power so as you can see this is an image of the oyster which moves back and forth due to the effect of the waves then these two parts are of the rigid flap connected to two pistons which produces pressurized uh, water which flows through a pipeline to a hydro hydroelectric power station which converts this high pressure water into electrical power okay so again, as you can see here, the oyster is formed of a large hinged uh, point flip, this part, this part that moves back and forth by the effect of sea waves. This motion drives the two hydraulic pistons. The two pistons, one of them is this one, and the other one is on the other side here at the same location. These two hydraulic pistons pressurize fresh water. Inside uh, pipeline, there is fresh water, which is bumped to an onshore hydroelectric turbine. So as you can see, we have a hydroelectric power station, which have hydroelectric, uh, hydroelectric uh, turbine that converts this high pressure fresh water into electrical power. Okay, so it converts the hydroelectric pressure into electrical power. Then you will find that there is another pipeline which returns the low pressure water back to the device itself. Okay, through a different, of course, pipeline. So we have here two pipelines. One which takes the high pressure uh, water to the hydroelectric power station. Then after generating electricity, you will find that the uh, pressure of water decreases so the low pressure water will return back through a different pipeline back to the device okay so in order to understand this i'm going to show you a video made by the aquamarine power aquamarine power is a company which made or own the oyster wave power technology so now let's see how does this oyster looks like in uh, real time okay so as you can see here you can see this one okay it is of course installed close to the shore you will see that here this uh, flip which we have just rigid flip which we have discussed it moves back and forth due to the effect of the waves as you can see here back and forth look at it you will see it gets back then forth back and forth like this okay so this too by this motion it leads to uh, providing uh, pressurized water um, using um, as you can see here using two hydraulic pistons you can see here this motion and we have here one hydraulic piston and another one here so when due to this motion okay as you can see here it provides pressurized water okay you can see this red one, red pipe, uh, red uh, water representing high pressure water, which is formed due to the motion of this uh, rigid flap. 
okay so due to its motion it will lead to providing pressurized water through the pipeline okay so we have one pipeline which contains high pressure water which is the red one and another pipeline which is the blue one you see this blue one this blue one is the water which is coming from the generating station which is the low pressure water coming back to our device okay so the red going from you can see here red going to the uh, station to the hydroelectric station and the blue one coming back you can see red going and the blue one coming back okay as you can see here now if we go here like this you will see here that we can form an array large array of this oyster we have several devices which can provide us large electrical power okay so this was um, an introduction to the oyster wave energy converter system